Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with another thrift haul. This is a continuation of a reseller's death pile that we recently met with and bought a ton of her stuff. If you guys missed the last video, I did one on these totes right here. They were all handbags, shoes, and some accessories. I got some really amazing pieces from her and I can't wait to share with you all of the clothing which are in these totes. Let's get started. I'm just going to remind everyone like I did in the last video, it's been a little while since we actually like met up comp these items so i'm a little fuzzy on what the exact comps are but i will try to remember and price them give you kind of a range off the top of my head if it ends up being something super special i will pop a comp up here on the screen but i paid five dollars for pretty much everything there were a few pieces that were only two dollars but to be honest i think i've gone through most of those in the like accessories area um so almost everything is going to be five dollars each first up this is a Free People sweater. This is a size small. Uh, free People I've been awfully picky on, but sweaters I'm definitely still getting. This is like kind of a sweater sweatshirt material, oversized, nice oatmeal color. Um, I'll probably have to do a comp on the exact style, but I'm going to guess probably like 25 to 30 on that. This one is a boys Nike Air Jordan. I have pretty good luck with this brand. Uh, size large, again, kids, boys, bomber, puffer jacket. We need to do some more comps on this, but I'm going to guess like 35 to 40 on this. This is a pair of um, pants in a brand I have actually never heard of until recently. Nikki did the comp on this. It's Wild Fang. This is called the Ace Collection. Um, I'll pop a comp up here because if I can remember right, this is a pretty unique brand. This is a size 14. I'm just reading. It's got some um, interesting, interesting things, interesting like slogans and sayings here on the tag that I will not share on YouTube, um, but kind of interesting. I guess I can show you this side. I thought that was funny, but very niche brand, very interesting. Um, and again, I'll pop a comp up, but these are just a pair of black trousers. These are new with tags. Um, they retailed for $98. I'm going to guess probably $35. Next up is a logo by Lori Goldstein. Um, we pick up a lot of this. It's a QVC brand, but we only pick it up in larger sizes. This one's a 3X, so that's going to fly. This is a tunic length. Most of their stuff is tunic length zip hoodie. This will probably go for 25 to 30. This is one of those items that doesn't have the best sell through rate, but does, however, the stuff that does sell sells for quite a bit. So my strategy is going to be to price it slightly lower than everyone else to get to move quicker. But this is a designer Max Mara. This is the line Weekend by Max Mara. Um, and some of their stuff retails for quite a bit. This is a wool coat, very high quality. Honestly, no idea on that. Probably need to pop a comp up on the screen because, um, again, it's been a while. Another designer brand that retails for quite a bit, it's Lafayette 148. This is a size 10, uh, feels like wool zip jacket. And again, I'll have to pop up a comp, but Lafayette 148, some of their pieces go for a lot. I think we just sold a vest for like close to $100 that was pre-owned. So definitely a brand you want to keep your eye out for. It might be one that sits a tiny bit, but um, in general, sells for quite a bit. Here's another brand we pick up in larger sizes. This is J. Jill. This is a size 3X. Um, women's, this is new with tags. As you can see, their stuff retails for a lot. $99, guys. Well, they say it's the bread and butter brand. In most things, it is. But the plus sizes, especially in a 3X, some of the stuff can go for really great money. I'm probably honestly going to list this for about $40. It's just a button-up tunic top but it's plus size and it's new attacks. Got a Lululemon sports bra. Um, I don't know the exact style of this, so we'll have to do research if I can find the size dot, but Lululemon bras flip really quickly. Um, again, even if it's only $25, that's going to be a good flip. This is another logo by Lori Goldstein, 3X Petite. This is a tunic top. This will go for $25 all day long. Pair of new tags, Banana Republic pants. These are called the Blake Crop Pant. They're in a size 12. Again, they are new with tags. And they are a gorgeous wide leg floral. Those are hitting like everything for springtime. Plus they're new with tags and a larger size. So I definitely wanted to get those. Um, 
It does not say what these retailed for, but I'm guessing quite a bit. I'm going to say we're going to list these for about 40 This is a factor stacking pickup. This is Ann Taylor higher end brand. Not the best, um, not the best sell to rate, but this is a Hawaiian button up linen skirt. This will be perfect for this time of the year. And that's the main reason that we got it. Probably list this for 25 to 30 of anthropology Pilcro and the letterpress jeans. Um, and this is a size 31 size 30 and up in Pilcro jeans perform really excellent for me. And usually I only get like 30 to sometimes 45 for them pre-owned, but still really great pickups. And these ones had this really cool embroidery on the bottom. Definitely wanted to get those. I thought they were really cool. Got a couple of swimwear items. Um, just moving into that season. Brands that I know typically perform well for me. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a men's size extra large pair of swimming trunks. These will probably be 25 to 30. Another Polo Ralph Lauren item, men's size medium. This one is new with tags. Um, this retails for $98.50. However, I'll probably only end up selling it for about $30. These are pretty common, but this was new with tags and a great spring color. This is another Pilcro and the Letterpress Anthropology pair of jeans, size 31. And these are more of a plain distressed look. Again, probably about 35. This is a J. Crew piece. It is a size small. It is like that Barbie pink that's really popular right now, and it's linen. So for those reasons, we grabbed this one. Nike Dry Fit Men's Orange Size Small Windbreaker. Not much to say about this. This is probably going to be a $25 flip. We've got a Harley Davidson 2XL Women's Top. Very classic. I like selling Harley still in the larger sizes. Um, other stuff, unless it's like the 3D Harley or something like that, it doesn't perform as well as it used to for me. Is a Lily Pulitzer kids little romper. Um, this will probably go for twenty to twenty five dollars. Um, kids stuff in this brand can perform well depending on what it is. This is a pair of loudmouth shorts. I haven't found these in so long. This used to be a huge bolo. Um, very unique shorts, very loud as the brand name would suggest. These are very unique golf pants. Um, depending on what they are, they can go for more or less. I'll probably have to pop a comp up here on the screen of what we're gonna sell these for, but I thought that they were really interesting. Okay, on to the next tote. I feel like I'm gonna have to do another video separate from this one for this other stack of totes. Zara in collaboration with Keith, I want to say it's Hans, Hans, Haney, I can't remember, it's an artist, um, sweatshirt, collaborations, do, oh, herring, that's what it says. Um, these are a little bit more rare, so I took a chance on them. Um, I couldn't find much about it, but certain rare collaborations, especially with artists, can sometimes perform well. So I grabbed that. Um, I'm going to guess about 35. This is a Columbia Women's Plus Size 2X Fleece Pullover. Gray and pink. Pretty classic. This is an L.L. Bean rain jacket. Um, it's actually still new with tags, which is funny because I think they cut the size tag off. Um, but left the new tags, but this is like an impermeable rain jacket. And if you guys don't know, LL Bean outerwear can perform really, really well, depending on what it is. We'll have to check the item ID on that and see, but got a feeling it's going to be a pretty high sale. My girl, Eileen Fisher, I'll pick this up like all day long. If anyone's got a ton of Eileen Fisher that they want to part with, I will buy it all because it performs really, really well for me. These are a pair of wide leg pull-on pants. They'll probably be like a $30 to $35 flip. More swimwear. This is Polo by Ralph Lauren. These are a pair of new tags swim trunks. Can't tell if those are boys or men's, but they should probably go for about $30. This is a brand called Fat Face. I think this is the style name, the iconic Arlie. 
I remember this being pretty good. I can't remember the comp, but this is a very thick, super high quality feeling item. Um, so if you guys ever come across anything with like a pretty substantial tag, like a unique tag like this, I would definitely look it up. I think that's the logo on the back. You can just see how thick and high quality this is though. Um, definitely a brand that you want to look for. Okay, this next one is another logo by Lori Goldstein. This is Logo Layers. Um, this is also a size 3X. This is a tunic tank top, $25. This is a jersey. It is an NFL Proline starter jersey, size extra large. These are the 49ers. I can't remember how much these were going for, but I'm pretty sure it was a pretty high comp. These are really easy to look up. Just look up the brand with the team um, and then if there's like a number on the back you can look that up as well but super easy and some of them go for really really good money Whew, that's a lot of stuff i think i ended up getting like 127 items total if i remember correctly but we are not even halfway done their logo by Lori goldstein this is a floral 3x cardigan $25, maybe more with that. Not just for style reasons. This is a Calvin Klein pair of jeans with this like patch microfloral. I thought this was so cute and it is new with tags. Um, I need to look up comps on that, but if I can get at least 30 for that, I'd be happy. Another logo by Lori Goldstein, 3X, 25 bucks. Some people turn their nose up at the $25 flips. I thrive on the $25 flips that have a high sell-through rate. I'll, like, I, I would love listing just $25 items all day long if I could find enough of it. 3X Lori Goldstein. Um, this one's a little bit heavier of like a coat again, I would call it. Very heavy duty cardigan, but feels like a coat. That one might go for more, maybe 30 to 35. That was really cool. Nikki, look this up. This actually is a rare Adidas jacket. And I want to say this was going for like close to $100. Adidas is definitely not a brand I hardly ever pick up anymore. But if it's super rare, definitely worth doing a Google lens. This is a new Tags Torrid Bra. Bralet, I guess I would call it. Mavi Pink. That should go for $25. Okay, I won't keep showing you the tag. But this is another... Uh, logo Lori Goldstein 3X tunic. Same thing as this one. A little tunic top, 25 to 30. Thing. <laughs> 25 to 30. This one's really cute. Been different. This is a Maeve Anthropology New Tags metallic -y dress. Couldn't say no to New Tags dress by Anthropology. And metallics perform pretty well for me. I actually, I'm pretty sure I saw that this was on like the spring trends like that everyone's talking about are metallics. So that might actually perform extremely well. Another metallic in the same brand. This is Maeve by Anthropology, size large skirt. Pink blushy metallic -y midi skirt. Super cute, gives me ballerina vibes. This is a Dolan Left Coast Top. I don't normally get this brand, but this was a 2X. Very pretty peasanty top, 25. And before I cut the video off, and we'll do another video on these two totes. Um, but isn't this such great stuff, guys? Like, I honestly can't believe it sometimes. This is a Diane Von Furstenberg 100% silk size 12 dress. This thing is so gorgeous, geometric, neutral colors, um, wrap style. The only thing wrong with it is it is missing its like original belt or tie, but I don't think that'll make a difference. Someone could put their own belt with it. I mean, this thing is so absolutely stunning in person. Um, I honestly don't know how much I'm going to list this for. I need to do a lot more research, um, but Diane Van Persenberg, silk, it's a dress, it's a large size. Of course, we're going to get that. All right, guys, so that is it for today's thrift haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching some of the items that I've been getting out of a reseller's death pile. Yeah. I am really excited about all the opportunities that I've been getting just by sharing what I do and having people reach out to me. Um, we've had a couple of buyouts here and there. I currently have a wholesaler shopping for us in another state. Like, 
just been really, really cool. It's also been awesome to like take the burden off of some people who may have overshopped and are overwhelmed in a different situation than they were when they purchased items and be able to take that burden off of them while also benefiting my business. That is it for today's thrift haul. I'm gonna jump into this other one. If you're not already and you wanna be notified when this thrift haul goes live, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.